Hello beautiful and thank you for clicking on today's video. Capsule wardrobes. You either love them or you hate them or you don't know anything about them. But likely if you've clicked on this video you're probably wondering if a capsule wardrobe is right for you. For a very long time in my life I've struggled with the idea of a capsule wardrobe. I've always wanted to have this effortless wardrobe where everything went together and getting dressed in the morning was very seamless. However, all of the examples that I could find online were of neutrals only wardrobes and I definitely needed color and pattern in my wardrobe and in my life. Flash forward to now and I have figured out how to make the concept of a capsule wardrobe work for me, my style, and my lifestyle. If you want more information on that, I've talked about it in a couple of different capsule wardrobe videos that I'll go ahead and link down below. But today I want to help you decide if a capsule wardrobe is right for you. So let's go ahead and jump into it. A capsule wardrobe might be for you if number one, you tend to gravitate generally towards slow fashion or thrifting. I find generally that people who gravitate towards slow fashion or thrifting tend to on average purchase things less often. So they probably have a better idea already of what silhouettes, colors, and styles they prefer. And having that information in your pocket makes the process of building your capsule wardrobe so much easier when you're trying to get started. Additionally, most of the time, if you participate in slow fashion or thrifting, you're buying higher quality pieces, whether it's through slow fashion because people are being paid livable wages and the garments are being made to a higher quality, or because you're thrifting and the items that have ended up in a thrift store must be of somewhat decent quality or they would have fallen apart long before they ever got there. So generally speaking, you're already purchasing things that are better quality and made to last longer, which is perfect for a capsule wardrobe. Number two is that you do not really like clothing shopping. And this isn't a hard and fast rule. In fact, for myself, I enjoy clothing shopping from time to time when the need arises. And I find that for me personally, cycling certain items in and out of my capsule wardrobe through thrifting is ideal for me. However, if you do not like shopping in general, building a capsule wardrobe may be ideal for you because you build it once, maybe annually, maybe even less than that, and then you don't have to be encumbered with clothing shopping really ever again unless you have some sort of a big lifestyle change like pregnancy, weight gain, weight loss, something like that. Number three is you're sick of having nothing to wear. If you feel like your closet is generally a bunch of hodgepodge items that you can never seem to coordinate together to get an outfit that you like, then a capsule wardrobe is probably gonna be a great tool for your closet to have. What's good about the capsule wardrobe is you front load all of the energy and preparation so that each day when you're getting dressed, there's not that sort of cognitive thought or decision fatigue that has to set in in order for you to decide what you're gonna wear. So you put a large amount of effort up in the front and then it's easy from there on out. It's kind of like meal prepping where you do a bunch of work on Sunday and then you don't have to consider it at all until next Sunday, except with a capsule wardrobe that longevity is far longer. In order to do this, however, you do need to consider a couple of things and one of which is what colors you like to wear, what silhouettes you like to wear, and what lifestyle you live because you want to build a capsule wardrobe for you and not for somebody on Pinterest. If you can figure these things out along with understanding what your general style is and what you generally gravitate towards, you can pretty much eliminate the whole nothing to wear entirely out of your life. In fact, for me, I can't even think of the last time that I felt like I had nothing to wear unless it was for a very specific event where I had to rent a garment of clothing or buy a garment of clothing. Usually it's rent because it's like a fancy event. But for the most part, I don't struggle with that at all and I would attribute that entirely to having a capsule wardrobe. Number four is that you like to travel light. I have made quite a few videos regarding my traveling, how I travel so light, and capsule wardrobing while traveling. And if you already sort of have the mentality of how to build a capsule wardrobe, and you like traveling light and sort of foregoing those checked bag fees, or even more recently, carry-on bag fees, Building a capsule wardrobe and having that mentality can help you very easily translate that to when it's time to travel. So if you travel a lot and you like traveling light, a capsule wardrobe may be for you for that reason alone. Number five, like I mentioned before, you know what colors look good and bad on you. If you already know this information of what colors make your skin and eyes sparkle versus what colors don't, 
You can take this information and very easily build a capsule wardrobe that's authentic to you and that makes you feel great all of the time. Because at the end of the day, the whole point of a capsule wardrobe or a wardrobe in general is to feel good about yourself when you're leaving the house every day or even when you're staying at home. Additionally, knowing what colors look good and bad on you can help you shop. When I'm shopping personally, I can avoid entire sections of a store simply because I don't see any of my preferred colors hanging on the rack and I save a lot of time and typically a lot of money from not impulse buying things that I know aren't in my preferred colors. All of this is great for building your capsule wardrobe. Number six is that you have an idea of what your personal style is. Whether it's boho or camper chic or gothic or trendy, whatever it may be, so long as it's something that you identify with that isn't just whatever's popular on Instagram this particular week, if you have a grasp on what your personal style is, not only is this gonna make building your capsule wardrobe so much easier because you're gonna be building it for you and you alone, but it may be worth it to consider having a capsule wardrobe because if you already know, just like with colors, if you already know what your style is, it's very easy to build it once and then forget about it, not have to worry about it and always look good and feel good. Number seven, kind of on the same vein of like colors and style is understanding what silhouettes look best on you and make you feel confident. I know that there's a lot of talk out there about how to dress for your certain body type. And while I agree with that personally from my wardrobe, I want you to dress however you want so long as it makes you feel confident. So what things flatter your body in a way that makes you feel good and what things maybe don't flatter your body in a way that doesn't make you feel good. Whatever it is, whether it's based on the standard like apple, pear, triangle, shape chart, or it's just what you've recognized makes you feel good. If you have an idea of what silhouettes look best on you, you can buy them once and then never again when it comes to the capsule wardrobe. Additionally, just like the two other ones before, it helps you build your capsule wardrobe. It helps you shop because if something's not in your silhouette, you can just put it right back not impulse buy, not waste the money. I also think that having a capsule wardrobe once it's finally established, it really helps you when you are shopping not want to bring any clutter into what is already beautifully established. So you're more likely when you're shopping or when you're feeling shoppy to instead of impulse buy, you're gonna buy things that are your shape, are your style and are your colors. What's unfortunate about this though that I struggle with all of the time is unfortunately with women's fashion, certain colors and certain shapes go in and out of fashion, whereas my body hasn't changed since high school. So that can be a bit frustrating, but again, once you build your capsule wardrobe, it's not really something that you have to deal with anymore because you're not shopping for new things all of the time. So what's popular doesn't really matter anymore. Number eight is you would like to feel well-dressed all of the time. The greatest thing about a capsule wardrobe, whether you do it in the traditional Project 333 sense or you do it more like me, is that you've built and done the front-loaded work to build something that you love and makes you feel confident and makes you feel beautiful and good. So every time you put your outfits together, you already know that they're gonna make you feel confident and good. And therefore, that's one less thing you have to sort of negatively pile onto your day. It's one less thing you have to think about and you just get to feel good. I, I can't tell you how much this has probably helped my mental health. Even when I'm working from home, I try to get dressed, even if it's in like nicer lounge clothes or like a cotton home dress. And I generally have better days. And I, I couldn't really attribute what it was at first, but I really think putting yourself together, although probably vain, does help, at least for me, my mental health, my productivity, and my general like day-to-day -day goings. <laughs> Number nine is you want your mornings to be quick, easy, breezy, beautiful. <laughs> The greatest thing about a capsule wardrobe is the amount of time that you get to garner in your mornings and just generally in your life from not purchasing clothing and not having to worry about what outfits you're gonna put together. I can't tell you how easy it is for me to go into my closet literally blind. I could grab two random things and 98% of the time they go together well enough that I can walk out the door feeling awesome, feeling confident, and feeling comfortable. If you are somebody who is a busy person, maybe you're a mom, maybe you're a career woman, or maybe you're both, or man if you're here, although I'm pretty sure my audience is like 99.9% .9 female, 
Um, if you are a busy person, or even if you just don't want to spend a whole lot of time in your morning to get out the door and get going with your day, having a capsule wardrobe can save you a lot of time in the morning and also a lot of time just generally in your life because you're not spending so much time shopping and cultivating the perfect piece of clothing because you already have all of the perfect pieces of clothing that make you feel beautiful, confident, and amazing. Your mornings will go smoother, I can promise you that. Your laundry will be faster and you will have so much time freed up that you're not spending on shopping anymore. It can take a fair bit of time to cultivate the perfect capsule wardrobe and there is also room in a capsule wardrobe for your style to change. I still find in general though, having a capsule wardrobe has had nothing but positives in my life. And I hope if you were sort of on the fence of if a capsule wardrobe is right for you or not, this video has helped you out. Like I said before, some of my colorful capsule wardrobe and also how I capsule wardrobe videos and content is gonna be linked down below. So go ahead and check that out. And while you're down there, please leave me a comment if you've made it this far with this emoji to let me know that you have a fabulous attention span. Thank you so much. This also helps my video get pushed out to more people by the algorithm. So if you like, comment, subscribe, do all of that great stuff, not only does that help me and my channel and what I'm trying to do here, but it can help other people have easier, breezier mornings and beautiful capsule wardrobes. So please do that, not just for me, but for everybody else. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in a couple days with another video. Bye.